At the White House, the stage is almost set for the Republican National Convention. President Donald Trump will accept his nomination for re-election here on Thursday. And just ahead of the convention, the president addresses a family matter. CBS 2's Tom Hansen explains. President Trump is responding to newly surfaced audio recordings believed to be his older sister sharply criticizing him. In one of several clips first reported by the Washington Post, Marianne Trump Barry, who was allegedly secretly recorded by her niece, slams the president for his immigration policies. All he wants to do is appeal to his base. He has no principles. I'm none. None. And his base, I mean, my God, he, if you were a religious person, you want to help people, not do this. In a statement from the White House, President Trump said in part, quote, every day it's something else. Who cares? I miss my brother and I'll continue to work hard for the American people. The president's younger brother, Robert, died just over a week ago. In another controversy, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said President Trump's threat to send law enforcement to polling places on Election Day is not about intimidating voters. I think what the president was really addressing is to make sure that if you want to show up and vote in person, we're going to make sure that 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 is safe. Whether you're voting for him or you're voting for Joe Biden or you're voting for some other candidate. As the president's campaign prepares to kick off this week's Republican National National convention on Monday. A new CBS News battleground tracker poll shows Joe Biden maintaining a lead among likely voters nationwide. The poll also finds Biden solidifying his existing support following last week's Democratic National Convention. Tom Hansen, CBS News. Among the speakers tomorrow, Donald Trump Jr., former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, and Mark and Patricia McCluskey, the St. Louis couple who pointed guns at Black Lives Matter protesters. You can watch the convention coverage starting tomorrow on CBS2, streaming on our digital network, CBSN Chicago, and on our new CBS Chicago app.